Hey everyone and welcome to your next episode. Um, tonight we're going to do a really hearty classic. I know there's been a lot of requests lately on Facebook for some good fall meals. So tonight we're going to make a French onion beef casserole. So what you're going to need for our dinner tonight is a pound and a half of ground beef, um, a couple of cans of cream of mushroom soup, um, I had no French onion dip. You can certainly use French onion dip already prepared out of the jar or the container from the grocery store, a 15 ounce um, portion of it. I didn't have any of that, but I did have some sour cream on hand and a box of Lipton um, onion soup. And so I made my own French onion dip for this recipe. And so in this bowl here, I have 16 ounces of sour cream and a packet of the French onion. Um, and then I've already boiled up, and it's waiting patiently for me on the side here, our low-carb pasta that we're going to be using. I'm using the, the Rotini pasta from the great low-carb bread company. Um, you can purchase this. Sorry, we have a little excitement. Uh, our, our pup is looking at people walking by out front of the door here. Um, but I, you can purchase this at our local clinic here in Fargo, North Dakota uh, called Strong Pour. Otherwise, I'll post the link for you for both Strong Pour or if you want to order it online from their online site as well. Um, I love this pasta. Great tasting. If you're looking for a substitute while following a low-carb or keto program, this is the pasta you need to go to. Um, so, um, well, I've already uh, cooked up the ground beef and I seasoned it because this is French onion I really seasoned it heavy with onion. So I've got onion in here, uh, the ground beef, some garlic, salt, pepper. It's always important to season your meat while you're cooking it and then again once you have it in the casserole dish. Um, it just adds those extra layers of flavor um, and you don't want to leave uh, your meat behind. So flavored the meat, and then boiled our low-carb noodles. And so now we're gonna combine it all together and put it in our casserole dish, and we're gonna bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes because everything is already cooked. We don't have to bake it for a long period of time. So um, to our meat here, we're going to add our two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Now, you might be noticing that one can of mushroom soup is a little darker in color than the other can. This can happens to be cream of mushroom with garlic added in it, um, and the other can is just a good old cream of mushroom. It doesn't matter. It's what I had on hand. It's not going to make a difference. Just two cans of cream of mushroom soup, whatever you may have on hand. Now you might say, now Cole, should I use the low fat version? Can I use the low fat version if that's what I have on hand? Absolutely, you can. Um, you might want to check, just for your own curiosity sake, sometimes lower uh, fat foods have more carbohydrate in them. So check that out. If you're trying to be more carb conscious, uh, you want to make sure that you're using the lowest carb uh, product. And then to this, we're going to add in our French onion dip. Super creamy as you can see here, but those noodles are going to suck up a lot of this creaminess. And so if it is a little thick, once I get it into the pan here, I have some chicken stock that we can add to it just to thin it out a little bit and make it a little less dense. And so we're just going to combine this all together here. Stir it all around nice and good. It looks awesome, smells great. There we go, all good and combined. And then to this, we're going to add our one bag of our Rotini low carb pasta. And we're going to toss it all together here. And then we're going to put it in our already prepared nine by 13 baking dish. And so the baking dish I've prepared with just some olive oil, some sprayed olive oil so things don't stick to it. There we go, and so we'll just get this dumped over here. It's pretty heavy, so hopefully we don't have it all on the floor, although my dog Max would be just stoked if this hit the floor. <laughs> 
there we go. He's a little Yorkie, but man, that little guy can eat. He's got the appetite of my husband, so it's kind of, kind of, they're a good pair. Um, you know, so we put this all together, and to me, it does seem like it's going to be a little tight. There you go, there he is, see? He's always an opportunist, waiting. Um, so we're gonna put this all together here. And it, to me, it does seem a little tight. So I am going to add just a little bit of chicken broth. If you have beef broth, you can certainly add that, or just plain old water. Just to thin it out, you could use some heavy cream. If you wanted to add a vegetable to this, you certainly could. You could put in some green beans, you could put in some zucchini pieces, you could put in some broccoli, you could put in some asparagus bits uh, or chunks of asparagus, whatever you would want just to add a little bit. Now, it's gonna take it away from a traditional kind of thought process behind um, French onion soup, but you know, it uh, adds a little bit of extra flavor. And so to top this off then, um, typically on French onion soup, uh, you have the cheese on top of the soup, right? And so, um, I, and that cheese is typically Gruyere or Swiss or a combination of the two. So I have some Swiss cheese slices here that I'm just going to tear up and put on the top of our hot dish. Um, the recipe that inspired, for, inspired me for this dish, I've altered it quite a bit with the different noodles and a couple of the different uh, sauce mixes and stuff. Um, it called for the French onion crumbled, like the, the stuff that you would put on green bean casserole at Thanksgiving, that's what it called for. But of course, that's going to add the carb content. So there we go. We got our, our Swiss cheese tore up on the top. To add that extra onion -y flavor, you could just sprinkle it with a little bit of, um, oh, this is garlic, but I, I pulled the wrong jug out of the cupboard. I'd pull out the powdered onion and you could put some parsley on it. Pop it in the oven and it's gonna be in there for 25 minutes. The uh, Nutrition Facts recipe, this dish makes eight servings. There's 457 calories per serving, 14 grams of net carb, or about 2.8 teaspoons of sugar, and 24 grams of protein. I hope you enjoy this dish. It'll be hearty, it'll be warm, and it'll just give you that good French onion taste uh, needed for your overall macros. Follow me on the Cooking NP. Um, I have a Facebook page, obviously, you're watching me here. I also have my YouTube channel. And stay tuned for awesome, great recipes and information regarding low-carb and keto cooking. Bye-bye.